Hi and welcome to this week's episode of Duck Chatter. On this week's episode I'm going to be showing you some footage that we never used and some footage was used on DVDs. Basically this is just a bunch of kill shots, several different hunts just put together just random kill shots. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Shoot him! Shoot him! Y'all get ready now. Here they come. Y'all shoot him. Shoot him. Make sure they're dead on the water. They diving. Somebody better shoot him. Shoot the green head. Coming down, coming down. In the hole, in the hole, in the hole. All right, let's go ahead Spank and them, boys. Did y'all even let them there? I don't think anything got out. Get the hell out of there. Shoot that one Drake going out. We let one drake go. We better get him right now. Get him. I didn't pull my trigger. Ooh, that's pretty. I'll get him up and weigh something. <laughs> that was a little too far for me. <laughs> yeah, it was. Fuck! <laughs> Look at the ducks. I don't know. But Rest of them are going to do it. Call them, call them, call, call hard, call hard, call hard, call hard. Yeah, but it's better to bugger them out. Look here. Oh, that was yours. Shoot them! That was a biscuit shot. Here, cool. That's pretty, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm not. Somebody shooting. Hurry, 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 hurry. Jonathan. I was falling over when I was shooting. Oh, don't be making no excuses. Oh, I was. I'm, next thing you can say, that wasn't close enough. <laughs> oh, that was plenty close enough. He used to close this. All I can do is stay on him with the camera. Go, go, go ahead and shoot that. <laughs> I caught Rick tree, tree, tree topping. <laughs> Somebody smoked one. That would be Tyler, I think. One time. You would shoot though. Mm. 
I got down over there and said, oh, it's ass. <laughs> but, Say what, brother? You, did you was you able to stay on them? No. On the camera, ain't it? No. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> and that's why how you get them down, Rick. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Oh, I'm telling you. Look! Well, watch him in case he does go under the ice. Uh oh. Y'all watch him, because we don't need him to come up underneath the ice. Shoot him over there. To your left. Headshot. That was getting tired of watching that go around. I hate to say this because you're game. I, I'm a game ball. No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with you. Oh. I hate to say this because it's gonna make his head swell up this big. <laughs> Freddie called that duck in here. Yeah. What we were doing was not working. <laughs> I swear he got you know, just a real soft. <laughs> and he was. I mean, his wingtips were touching me. I, I agree. That soft calling will work. Y'all better shoot him. Shoot him. There's a lot then, didn't it, Rick? Yeah. Go ahead, shoot her, Tyler. So much boot shooter. We don't want to be scum. Shoot her. Smoking. Y'all just stay out there. Y'all stay out there. <laughs> Just moving them mojos made that much difference. Shoot it! <laughs> that one ain't getting out of here. Hey! Still shot. They suck. Shoot it again. <laughs> Shoot it. Buck! Well, y'all seem to have some problems. Another model duck? <laughs> Head's still up. Back at him, big old shoes again. There you uh -oh. go. I got it. Damn, what a shot. Get ready, we're going to shoot this next time we come through. I'm ready. Now shoot him. That one almost got in the mouth. Look at all your feathers, Rick. Dang, who shot that? <laughs> Wasn't me. I almost fell over backwards. I was standing on my way to trip. Today I'm going to talk about uh, F4 Viper from XL Boats. I just went up and picked me up a new one, and let me tell you why we think these are the best boats on the market. First off, they've got this pod back here, and it's got a couple of different reasons for being there. One of them is flotation. Another one is when you're in the timber hunting, you can get in and out of the boat very easily. If the water's knee deep, you just put your knee on here and you hop right in. Now, if you'll notice down here, we've got two plug holes. One's for the pod and the other one's for the boat. So uh, you'll, you, it comes with two plugs. This boat also comes with a kick-up plate. Now, if you've got a tilt or trim on your motor and you hit a log, which you're gonna hit a log in the, in the timber, this thing kicks it up automatically, less wear and tear on your motor. Uh, these things work great too. I've had it on my last boat. Works really good. Now, they got a super liner inside. And like I said before, 
this is Optifade timber. And uh, that liner's thick, it's tough, and it won't rip or tear. I'm gonna show you a couple of features on the inside. Back here, you've got your battery box. You can put your plugs in and out. You also have the access panel right here. Okay, it's got navigation lights, bilge pump, courtesy lights, and accessories. And the accessories is for the like the uh, the gas tank. Uh, this one has a, a under the deck gas tank. It's 11 gallons, and it's also got a fill tube over here I'm going to show you that you can fill it from the outside. Makes it so much easier, and it's, it's under the deck. It's out of the way. You never know it's there. Also, you can throw life jackets under the deck, but let me show you some of the other stuff. We've got dry storage here. We've got dry storage in the gun box and also I don't know if you can get it Jonathan but in the gun box it's got rod holders so you can if you're fishing in the summertime you can put your rods in there and just lay them in the gun box I have another gun box on this side which is pretty handy if you can get a picture of that this one has a shelf above the gun box I think if you're fishing or something, you know, you can put crankbaits or pliers up here in the shelf. It's got more, more dry storage back here. And it's really, it's really laid out well. That's pretty much the inside. I want to show you a couple more things real quick. Like, I also uh, got a trolling motor mount on this one. Uh, that's an extra, but it's well worth it. It's got the electrical hook up here already. You just plug your trolling motor in, mount your trolling motor, drop it over. You're good to go. It comes standard with these bow rails, and they're really handy when you're uh, pulling the boat. Let's say you get into where you're going to hunt. You get out of the boat, put out your decoys. You need to pull your boat around, something to grab onto. One of the things I like best is this LED light in the front almost 13,000 lumens and it runs on practically no electricity. I mean, it's very, very low. It's very bright. It's like the headlights of your car. It's that bright. But the thing I like best about this boat is the way it's built. If you look at this front end, you can see that it's braced and it's double braced. It's probably, without a doubt, the strongest front end in the market. And the same thing goes for the transom. I'm gonna walk back here to the transom. You can see how they've got it braced and double braced. And if you're looking for a boat that's built solid, one that'll last you almost a lifetime, and it could last you a lifetime if you take care of it, we abuse them and they still last us. And uh, if you're looking for a boat that will last, look no further. On your next boat purchase, look at an XL. This is an F4 Viper, one of the best boats on the market. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Duck Chatter. I sure hope you enjoyed those kill shots and some footage never seen before. Anyway, be sure to stay tuned for next week's episode. Thank you.